Hello, everybody. Um, if you can hear it in my voice, I am coming down with whatever bug is going through the building. But this is your support for LL3, looking at exposition and plot. And so what we're doing now is we're bringing back our work. We're bringing our work that we've done for the past two weeks. And we're bringing it, or about to marry it with the work we did towards the end of the last unit when we talked about plot when you wrote your stories. And so we want to start to analyze the giver and really think about Lois Lowry as an author and how she made sure that the characterization statement that we made for characters, the understanding of the conflict that we have at this point now that we're towards the end of the book, um, as well as what we know for the setting, are, can be easily identified in the exposition. And when we say exposition, we're talking about in those in the beginning of the story, which can there's a range. Sometimes depending on the size of the text, we know that it can be as short as a paragraph, maybe the first page. And when we think about novels, it can be a couple of chapters. In this case, as you see, chapters one through seven of the giver, and we can definitely use as the framework for an exposition of a story. And so I'm going to talk about how, in your journals, everything will go in your journal now, how you're going to go about doing an analysis. Um, when you do an analysis, you're doing setting, conflict, and then the characters that we know in the exposition, Jonas, Mother, Father, Asher, Fiona, and Lily. And so by the end of the unit, you want to make sure you have gone in and completed at least, i say at least three to four of these in your journal. So the first thing you're gonna do, um, which you should already have done, you have, you skipped. So the last journal entry we had in here was independence. So you wanna skip 18 pages. And on the 19th page, you wanna write exposition, chapters one through seven. From there, you then wanna have a three column chart. You can draw the lines if you want. I went ahead and did a fold. So I went from the end, folded over, and then I fold again to the rings. All right? But if you want to make three columns, it's perfectly fine. You're going to see the notes in a moment for this, uh, but you do already see now that we have six boxes. The first, or six columns. The first column here. This is always going to be your summary and it's based on your focus. So what exactly are you focusing on? Is it setting, is it conflict, or is it a particular character? You put that name at the top and then you give the summary on the bottom. For characters now, your summary is always going to be your characterization statement. So every time you choose a character, I need to know what is that character's trait or traits, if you're saying that it's more than one, and then what is that character value? And you're always going to put that here. And then your next five columns are types of evidence we can use or find in the exposition to support what we have here. So maybe there's narration in the exposition that definitely supports your summary. Maybe it was dialogue that happened from the character or from another character or between characters that help you understand your summary. Or, Maybe it was a thought in the exposition that helped you understand the summary that you're focusing on. Or maybe it was a flashback or a foreshadow. And I'll just quickly post, you'll see these in the notes, but I want to give you this now. That's what everyone had. So when we talk about flashbacks and foreshadows, flashbacks being these past events or past moments for characters. And we really want to think about trigger moments in both. This book uses a lot of foreshadowing and a lot of flashbacks. And a lot of it is based on trigger moments. Um, whether it's, it was December approaching and him feeling frightened that triggered him, that triggered Jonas to start to remember about the time the plane flew. Because it's that idea of trying to feel scared made him think about the year before. When he heard about Lily having to get an announcement about having her ribbons put back on her head 
that made Jonas, that was a trigger moment where it reminded him to go back when he saw the apple change. So there's so many moments um, in terms of flashbacks and foreshadows. As it says here, we think about a lot of things that repeat. And we know, for example, you hear a lot of moments throughout the exposition about someone being released. Um, the whole chapter on four is about release. And so that lets you know, it hints towards release must be something really big here. Uh, we know it's something that you don't want to do. We know it's something that happens when people break rules. So what about release is such a big deal? Um, and so it kind of hints towards understanding more about that. So just keep in mind. All right. So going back, and you already see I have some of the stuff filled in. So I'm going to talk through it. So the first thing you do is you put your focus and you do your summary. Here I'm already giving you, we have setting. And here I'm saying that the story is set in a community with a lot of rules for order and safety. You always want to think about what is the key phrase that you're trying to support when you get to your evidence. In this case, I want to show that there are rules for order and there are rules for safety. I don't need to support a story. I don't need to support a community. I need to support how these rules have give order and these rules give safety. And if any two, any two that you can come up with, you want to use. So for me... Um, and I always go with the very first one. What's the very first thing I remember reading about that made me know this was the summary, um, or this is a summary. Same thing for characterization, if we're saying, for example, that Asher is fun-loving, what was the very first moment you read where Asher definitely showed that he was fun-loving or someone who just has a really fun, happy spirit? And then that's what you want to go to. And so for me, the very first chapter, very first page at the bottom talked about the aircraft and how there were rules for pilots to follow the community. And that made me say, oh, here we are, a rule in the community, and it's meant to give order. It's keeping planes or giving planes a method about how or where they can fly. And so that's what I write here. I put the evidence there and I explain how it connects to order, which is what I want to connect to. The second moment I had for myself uh, was a flashback, but some classes saw it as a foreshadow. That's why you see me with an arrow. I say it can be also. Uh, because in this moment, in the same chapter, there was another moment where it says, needless to say, he will be released. And this moment was when Jonas was telling the story about what happened a year ago when the plane flew over. And so the idea of saying release lets me know, oh, release is a consequence. So it gave a hint to a consequence that happens when you break a rule or when you don't follow orders. So I'm connecting back to orders. Or in this case, for flashback, same evidence, but I know this is a moment that happened in the past. So the speaker said this in a, a year ago to the plane. So it happened in the past where a broken rule put citizen lives in danger because we know that at this moment, Jones was frightened, he was scared. And so this moment needed a consequence. And so for me, I have two and a half because I kind of use the same evidence for another one that had the moment there. That's all you need to do. Find two moments. It could be two foreshadows. It could be two flashbacks. It may be two narrations or two dialogues. Whatever two that you know that can help you understand or support your summary of your focus, that's all I need. And you'll do at least three of these. I already gave you setting, as you see. And then you can pick either to do conflict Maybe Lily, maybe father, maybe mother, but you decide. And that's pretty much that. Um, the next thing you're about to see now are your notes.